。はい。はーい、よいさあ、こらーしょう。はい、thank you。so I know we've been eating our way through Tokyo。So far, but when the opportunity came up to ride Tobu Railway 70 minutes up to the well preserved maritime city of Tochigi with a local guide, I couldn't say no. So we made our way to Asakusa where Tobu Railway has their Sky Tree line. Once we got past the gate, we boarded Tobu's newest train, the Revati, which goes all the way up to Nikko, but we were going to stop in Tochigi City. Spotlessly clean and smooth, this train was just like other trains that we've taken in Japan, but with other features like electrical outlets, shades, nice recliners, food, and free Wi Fi. A little over an hour later, we arrive in Tajigi City where we're greeted by our local guides as part of the One Day Citizen Passport Program. But first, about our English guide. My name is Hideo Oshima. I work for the local high school here in Tajigi City. And sometimes I do some volunteer work as a tour guide. I was born and brought up in Tajigi City. But unfortunately, people in Tajigi are very shy and not good at. Uh, telling other people how it is to live in Tochi. Well, that's why I was there, of course. Our first order of business was to get our passports and that very first day. <laughs> our first day. Now our first stop of the day is Yamamoto Sahoten, which is a Japanese confectionery shop. These sweets are called kashiwa mochi, and kashiwa leaf are used to make this. And this is, these are used for Children's Day. To start our lesson, though, we had to cross the street to go to their school. And here's our teacher. What I loved about the experience was that we were going to get our hands dirty and to do something very traditional to make these bean paste desserts from scratch. But first, the Master is going to show us how it was done. Let's just say it was a lot harder than it looks, and the master had to get involved. First, uh, this is uh, wisteria. That's what's supposed to represent yes. one of the flowers that they have here. I had a lot more of the purple coming yes. through. I think I did a pretty good job in the party. So I, I paid attention. I, I paid attention, but my hand didn't go off. The second one. Let's see how we do the second time around. And you twist it to give it kind of that swirl. So we got our bean paste pastry here that we, or not even paste, this bean paste cake that we just made, multi-layered, and as the, the chef said, uh, the professionals make it where the bottom is really, really thin, and the top is thicker. And you got the multicolored layers going on here with the green, the orange, the red bean, kind of purple, dark purple. And it's all kind of mixed. This one definitely wasn't made by me. It's pretty uniform throughout. It doesn't taste like certain layers taste different than the others. Mm. I mean, this is a, a work of art. If you like bean paste, this is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty much all bean all the way through and just kind of eat it like that. We said our goodbyes and we head over to Izuma River and this is what caught me by surprise. I didn't expect to see all of these carp streamers here. Ready for our boat cruise? 
reminds me of Venice in some ways. And we're going to be going around the river here, which is filled with carp. Giant, giant carp. I mean, just look at this. This is something I didn't really expect to see in Tochigi. We didn't know what he was saying, but what a voice. There are lots of carp in this river. And oh, did we feed the carp. Back on shore, we had a little bit of fun with the costumes that they provided, and all this only cost... 600 yuan. Normally, uh, 700 yuan. So 100 yuan discount. Thank you to Chigi Passport and a new state. We are in Yokoyama House for lunch right now, and we have a feast in front of us, all from the Edo time period. We start with all the different kind of appetizers. You have everything from, from beef, to egg. Um, I think that's that's some sort of fish here. You got some pickled vegetables and tofu. And then down here, everything from tempura, um, egg as well. And I think these are the desserts. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. This is knotted. I thought, I thought that's all we had to eat, but then there's more because over here you have sashimi, really fresh sashimi. <laughs> Miso soup, of course. And then there's still more. You got you got um, steamed egg here, so Japanese steamed egg. Uh, pickled vegetables, rice, tea, so much tea. And then of course we have this beautiful view out of the courtyard. Um, so the garden. Um, Got cherry blossoms. I think those are cherry blossoms. Uh, one of the old houses in the back. And of course, this this lovely room, uh, which has a lot of history. So we're going to be looking at and exploring the cultural center here in Yokoyama House. But first, it's time to eat. After lunch, we got a chance to explore the house, and this was actually a storehouse and a place of wholesale for hemp, which was primarily used to make the wooden flip-flops used back in the day. Uh, they were so successful that they even had their own bank. Yes. <laughs> After that, we went to Tashi uh, Float, Festival of Float Hall in Tochigi. Every two years, we have a big, grand autumn festival. If you come to Tochigi in November, you can see tens of festival of floats. And just like that, we got our four stamps. I think one of the amazing things about Tochigi is how well preserved the storehouses and merchant buildings are. With both of our passports filled out, we went to the tourist information center to collect our prizes. And what did we get? We got a postcard and a hand towel. Got the gifts. We just dropped by this place in town, and I guess this is, um, it's kind of like a, a pastry with custard inside. Usually there's like red bean and green bean, um, but this one we've seen around Japan, so it's time we finally give it a try. So you can see over there, she's making it right now. It's like a custard cake. Let's try this out. Mm. Okay, this one's not as hot. But you got the custard inside. It's a nice kind of egg batter that they use to make the cake. Mm. Perfect level of sweetness. Really tasty. Well, that about wraps up our day trip from Tokyo to Tochigi. We had a great time taking Tobu Railway up. It was nice, smooth, and quick. And in the city, we got to really soak in the Japanese culture with the food and hands-on kind of confectionery making, uh, the boat ride as well. So I hope you guys had fun following me along, and I'll see you guys next time on Going Awesome Places. I'm proud. Uh, we have a lot of uh, historic places here, and other interesting places. For example, today, 